in the four previous strike books, it sort of came to me as I wrote. I would, because I'm writing on a bit of a lag, which is actually um, has been a relief to me because I can do at least one or two more books before I have to deal with the pandemic, which I think for a lot of crime writers is going to be a, a real challenge. I tend to look up what was current at the time to see what would have been playing on the radio. But with this book was different because I wanted the, uh, the disappeared doctor to be a, as real a person as I could make her to the reader. And I thought, um, what would she have listened to? What artists would she have liked? And I looked up the, the albums that came out before she disappeared in 1974. And of course, Joni Mitchell's Court and Spark came out. Now, before I started writing this book about two years ago, if you'd said to me, do you like Joni Mitchell? I would have said, yes. I would have said, well, I own Blue. Everyone owns Blue, the album Blue. Um, and I knew a couple of other songs. And it is fair to say that I have now become a a Joni Mitchell obsessive. I mean, I own everything she's done. I started listening to Court and Spark, and now I own everything. So that, that's never happened to me before, that I, I find something through the writing that then becomes a real personal passion. But um, her, her music weaves its way through the book. Um, and in the process of writing about Margot's love of Joni Mitchell, I ended up completely in love with Joni Mitchell. Well, do you know what? I don't think I want either of them to make me a playlist. I know that sounds, I know that sounds mean, but here's, hear me out. Robin's considerably younger than I am. So she just turns 30 in this book. And I've got a feeling that we might not love the same kind of music. Some, some music I'm sure I would like. I have a daughter a bit younger than Robin actually, but she's often played me stuff I like. But it's a car, so you want familiar stuff in the car, I think. But Strike. Now, I've known since I created the character that his favorite artist is Tom Waits because his mother was a big rock and roll groupie, so obviously he had to go somewhere different. He's not going to be into heavy rock. He's got to find something of his own. And although I actually love Tom Waits, I'm not sure I want the whole car journey to be Tom Waits. So maybe both of them together and I'd end up hitting something I liked. <laughs>